Hey gang, today we're going to talk about an insect and bug remover. Simply spray the product on, wait 3-4 minutes, give it a thorough rinse. Um, if it's a heavily soiled area, agitate with your microfiber, wash mitt, or what have you. Um, it's safe for all surfaces, not just the clear coat. It's especially made for clear coat, so it can sit and dwell for 3-4 to four minutes. You have to be in a hurry to get it off. But it's safe for chrome, glass, headlights, plastics, uh, the plastic trim in your car, Simply spray it on the whole front of your car and let it dwell. Um, a thorough rinse afterwards, or like I said, if it's heavily soiled, agitation with a, a wash mitt will do. Let's take a look. All right, so before we even start the pre-wash process, we're going to remove these flying kamikazes from the front clip here with Angel Wax Revenge. The whole process is as simple as applying the product straight all the way across the front clip or the mirrors or windshield or wherever. Um, it's a gel-like substance. It will cling. It will cling and break down the bugs and sort of liquefy them so you can rinse or lightly agitate if you have to if it's heavily soiled. Um, but you could spray it on the headlights, the grill, the trim, chrome trim, plastic trim, fog lights, license plate holder, anything that's up there, give it a nice thick coat and let it dwell. I do acknowledge there are wonderful products out there that do a great job breaking down these bugs, uh, especially on clear coat. Some you want to stay away from trim, chrome trim, plastic. Uh, so if you have to use more than one product, what's use? Uh, just grab this, go all the way across the front clip, let it sit for a couple minutes. I'm going to come in and show you how it's breaking down these bugs, liquefying them. You can see it running down the hood here, um, and it's doing it to everything that's stuck to the clear coat. There are actually some silly chemicals out there I've seen applied to the clear coat trying to break down bugs that, that don't even belong near clear coat. Uh, and there, there are some that have to actually be flushed immediately after you use it. Uh, why not use a product that can stick around for a little bit? Uh, you don't have to be in quite as, as much of a rush to, to remove the product, to flush it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to bring a very soft interior detailing brush. It's actually a makeup brush, so you know how soft these are. And I'm gently just rubbing it down the surface of the paint here. Now the chemical's purpose is trying to avoid uh, scrubbing and agitating, but there's sometimes you just can't avoid it if it's heavily uh, contaminated. So this car is getting corrected anyway, so I have no problem for the video's sake coming in here and uh, just sort of swiping all these bugs away. They come off with ease, as you can see. Uh, this is just a light um, taking the brush down and whatever's left over will take a little bit more pressure, but they will all be removed. No need to bring in a rough, um, aggressive scrub pad or spraying any kind of a chemical onto a microfiber and coming in and, and scrubbing from there. Um, you just spray on and uh, rinse away, or if you have to, agitate with a soft microfiber wash mitt and just give a thorough rinse afterwards and you're good to go. You can start the pre-wash process or the contact wash and the bugs are gone. And I'll always remind you, this the way I do things is not the way or always the best way. It's just the way that works for me and maybe you can get a few nuggets here and there from the video to make your day a little bit easier and that's all I can hope for. Now, if you have a pressure washer, that would be ideal. I really don't use one inside here. Um, I have everything like that packed away in the mobile unit. But um, let me dry this off real quick. Get uh, most of the water beads off of here so we can come in, take a look, and I could show you you'd be hard pressed to find um, any kind of bug or insect still sticking to the surfaces up here. For price, um, to compare to other products that work well, um, it's a couple more dollars than Citral, but I don't know if you want to spray Citral straight all the way across the front clip of a car. 
um, the Stoner products, same thing. And there's uh, quite a few other products out there that might be a little bit cheaper. But um, it, I don't know if it's safe for those to be sprayed all the way across the car, especially in direct sunlight. And uh, let dwell for three or four minutes then yet. I do look forward to seeing what you guys um, put down in the comment box for um, the use of removal of insect and bug splatter. And just one more thing to add, up here in the Northeast, we are slowly closing in on uh, the end of the season for this kind of uh, contaminants to the front of the car and mirrors and windshields. Thank goodness uh, the, uh, the bugs will be winding down as it gets colder and colder, and uh, I look forward to that. One less step to do. All right, guys, I'm going to put a link down below for the Angel Wax Revenge. So go ahead, take some revenge out on those um, pesky bugs and insects and remove them safely from your clear coat, from your trim, from your glass, anywhere on the car. This is Brian from Apex Detail. We'll catch you in the next video. Myself, 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 myself.